let us continue with the second part of solving problem on design of deck slab bridge so we are about to see the diagram here so effective depth we have calculated and here i said these all the values are taken from irc class a loading diagram and here the value be we got it from the center of the wheel or track to the other side uh, up to where the load is distributed so here there is 5.442 that is 5442 by 2 here also the same value we we should get but here maintaining the uh, least clearance we are keeping the vehicle near to the supports in such cases that is 2 uh, 2225 plus 2050 plus so we are talking about the maximum possible effective depth we are talking about so uh, instead of taking the effective depth alone we are taking the maximum possible effective depth that is that uh, that net effective depth we will get it as 6996 if you add them all you will get 6996 the effective depth, depth actually we have found is half of half from the wheel or track see here when the vehicle is placed with the minimum clearance effective width it will change from the diagram taking net effective width as 6996 mm that is 6.996 meter next step next point the total load of two tracks with the impact so we have to uh, calculate the load imposed by the tracks these uh, these are tracks of course you call it as wheels you call them as wheels so actually the the those are tracks because it is a tracked vehicle 1 ton refers to 10 kilo newton so we have impact factor initially 19.7% so that is 0.197 so in this equation substitute that 35 turns refers to 350 kilo newton plus 350 into 1 plus 0. Point, uh, impact factor is 0.197 so total we got it as w track weight of the track that is 8 uh, tracking load that is 0 uh, 838 kilo newton so find out the average intensity of the load that is tracking load by area that area is a effective lr into be lr here is effective road length 4.76 meter be is a if net effective width 6.996 meter tracking load is 838 kilo newton as we have calculated here now find out the intensity of the load so if you substitute all the values you got the intensity of load as 25.17 kilo newton per meter square next maximum bending moment due to the live load after getting this find out the maximum bending moment the formula is this w into lr by 2 into x minus W into LR by 2 into LR by 4. Here x value again we have to take 3.2 initially because here the maximum bending moment for a simply supported beam occurs when the load is acting at the center. So we have to again um, as we are so that is why I have specified here maximum bending moment. Here the vehicle is placed again at the center like this, like this. So in such cases. so the parameters we have are here w just we have calculated 25.17 kN per meter square and x is 3.2 lr effective length of the road is 4.76 meter substitute all the values in this equation you will get m max as 120.36 kN meter now total design moment will be m is equal to the uh, moment due to dead load plus moment due to live load so that is 191. 191 kN meter next step is about shear due to class a a tracked vehicle see here for maximum shear supports irc class a a tracked vehicle is arranged as shown in the figure in order to get maximum shear force at the supports support at one support we are talking about so we are placing it near to the support maintaining the clearance see here if so what happens effective width will change because all the parameters the k value bw value uh, effective length value all are same but only x will change why because the uh, vehicle is not placed at the center initially so we have to take the center of gravity distance from the support uh, center of gravity of the load from the support 
that is as it is load from uh, here to here 4.76 from the support we have to take by 2.38 2 x value differs so be value again differs so width dispersion again we have to take triple two five plus two zero five zero so initially we have added these two only so here also five one six zero by two as i said it is half of uh, distance from half of the wheel see here 6.855 meter from b new value of load intensity as b changes again the load intensity will change right so here w is equal to w track by lr into b so all, all the values are same but uh, b differs substitute b value and get the value of load intensity 25.68 now find out the shear force b a is equal to w into lr into le minus x by le here all the values are known so substitute all the values and you will get the shear force as 76.80 kilo newton next find out the dead load shear due to dead load this is the shear force wd into le substitute all the values you will get it so now total design shear is due to dead load plus due to live load find it out so later you have to design the deck slab so you have to find out the effective depth required so d is equal to root over m by q into b m is a yeah, m dead plus m live so sub 191 kilo newton meter q is a 1.008 in step one itself you have found out the value of q b is a one meter we are taking 1000 mm substitute all the values you will get the effective depth 435.3 we got so effective depth initially we have calculated and provided something right that is 4.462.5 it is actually provided so this is required so we have provided more than the required that is good so proceed for the design with the provided effective depth that is for d is equal to 462.5 meter sorry mm now find out the reinforcement so ast is m by sigma stjd so adopting 25 mm diameter bus we are taking so all the values are known here substitute and find the ast now spacing of 25 mm diameter bus this is the formula 100 into small ast by capital ast small ast is nothing but area of the reinforcement now provide the 25 mm diameter bars 200 mm center to center along the length of the span now find out the distribution steel in order to find out this we have to calculate the moment simply it is not 0.12 percent of the cross sectional area you have to find out the moment and you have to derive the ast so this is given as 30 percent of live load moment plus 20 percent of the dead load moment so you know all the values and find out the m distribution using the 12 mm diameter bars find it out so these distribution steel is in transverse direction and the main steel is along the length longitudinal direction after that find out the spacing the same way as you have found out from main steel and this is a step 8 we have to check for shear stress tau v is equal to v by pd so you know how to calculate this substitute all the values d is effective depth here b is uh, v is the shear force you have calculated find out tau v and check the parameter 100 ast by bd and here substitute all the values and you will get a constant value and check with is 456 table number 17 tau c value is here for this value tau c is 0 0.30 newton per mm square which is uh, greater than this so this is safe and no shear reinforcement is required so this is how you have to provide the reinforcement so you are providing a 25 mm diameter bus along the length this is a cross section you are providing these dots Along the length uh, direction, you are you are providing 25 mm diameter bars, and 10 mm diameter bars are provided here. This is a longitudinal section. Please observe the uh, please observe this carefully. This is what we have designed, and remaining all are assumed here: abutments and uh, this curb and all. Actually, of uh, less interest. We are more interested only on the deck slab. This is a longitudinal section, this is a cross section. See this carefully.